some would say it's been a while and others would say it's about bloody time oh good picture eh involved and his son a few years ago now that we've finished the giveaway and we've got a winner for the unopened whatever's in there and mrs v is watching what's going on wondering what's that silly old bugger up to about time we put an address on there off to sw dweeb and get it on its way hey darling yes, dear. <laughs> so sw dweeb is a famous youtuber in america so all we need to write on here is to S W Dweeb U S A and that should get it, eh? That should do it. Oh, we've got to have a, a sender's address on the back, don't we? Sender Volgnet NZ. There you go. If it does get lost, it can come back, but that's where it's heading off to. Cool. Now we've got to post it. Okay, well, it's a very hot day in order to to mail this off to SW Dweeb in USA we've got to go and put it in the in the box uh, and we live luckily enough way out in the country so we need a hat for the head and we need the trusty jandals because this is New Zealand and we don't wear flip-flops we wear jandals and we go and mail this to SW Dweeb we have to walk to the to the mailbox Mrs. V and I just came back from a ride on the bike and we went up the back of those hills there somewhere. Maraya Totara. Maraya Totara. Road. Road. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a loop road thing that we hadn't been on before and it was great. But very hot day. Like 28, 29 degrees Celsius. Even Ruby and Barbara are sheltering under the trees. Like just a little <laughs> low grumble. Too hot to answer. Hi, Ruby. Hi. Glad to see you're under a tree. Because we're way out in the country, the uh, the mail is delivered by the New Zealand Rural Delivery Service, They're part of the post office. And uh, around here, we've got our our house down there closest neighbour is way over there and there's another neighbour across the road so all the letter boxes for the three places are grouped together outside our place so once a day the rural delivery lady comes along in her in her ute in her van whatever they use puts the mail in the box and so the middle one is ours can i get you to hold the camera on? yep sure we're going to send this off to sw dweeb in usa okay The um the other part of the, the whole proceeding is that we um you remember we had the the cousin bro and the funny old man yes. came out with you. You know what I say? I say you should give a, a bonus giveaway. What about the extra cap? Yeah. You had it made specially, didn't you? You did. How about that? Remember that darling? Yes, yeah. And so we're going to do a giveaway for the Volgnet cat. We'd better do that as well and finish off the longest running, cheapest giveaway in the history of YouTube. <laughs> I hey, make the short story long. That's my talent, making short stories long. Yeah. Oh, really? Things take time in the country, you know, there's no hurry. So, we'll go back inside and do a, do a draw for the cat. The draw is for the Volgnet hat. That's never been on a human head, unlike the first one, which is my cap, from time to time. So this one um, is going to be won by whoever commented on that final giveaway the winner is video. It's going to be a simple draw on two pieces of paper. 
So first of all, we've got to make some pieces of paper. It might end up being SW Dweeby wins it because he commented. Bringy was there. Mothership Videos was there. Kiwi Badger. Bandit Nev. Let's have a look. We'll just go through the comments as they came in. Mothership Videos. That's an old fellow Kiwi. Mothership Videos. Oh, Dave. Riding Country. Tex Rider. Oh, Scotty. See? Tex Rider. Here's my Aussie mate. Well, one of my many Aussie mates. Oh, too big. Kev. Oh, too big cap. And good old bandit Nev. What a legend. Down in South Australia, I think. Adelaide, is that right? Then we got Springy. Springy 2112. What does that mean? Springy 2112. Oh, of course, the, the main man himself, Perry at SW Dweeb. <laughs> and if he wins it as well, maybe I can save on postage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mrs. V reckons I'm a tight ass. Oh, my good old mate Dave XS from the UK but currently in Thailand. Riding around on all sorts of things over there. Yeah, I think he um, sort of got locked down there. The channel previously known as AWB <laughs> Adventures with Bash. Don't see much of him anymore, but he's in the drawer. Adventures with Bash. Oh, Lloyd from Rusty Glovebox. A very clever bugger. Rusty Glovebox in the drawer. But of course then there's the mighty Kiwi Badger. The fellow Kiwi. Last but not least, old man Tony. Over there in the UK, in lockdown. Him and um, Kiwi Badger have a lot in common actually because they have been getting into their wood turning lately. So we'll go back and give all of them a second fold and then I'll get my beautiful assistant to come and make the drawer. Did you hear that beautiful assistant? Okay, well we've got all the entries in there, give them a good stir up and now my beautiful assistant will come over and give us a hand. Hello! So the drawer is for the brand new Vulgnut cap that's never been on a human head, not even a Vulgnut head. And there we go darling, if you could say hello to the people. Hello everybody. And give them a stir up. And let's make sure she's being honest about it. And choose one. And what have we got? Tex Rider. Tex Rider, Scotty in Canada in the <laughs> deep dark snow at the moment. Oh really? Oh yeah, okay. I mean they get real snow up there. Yeah. Okay. Oh Scotty, there you go, you're the winner, you're going to get a cap. Now it's time to send the cap on its way to, to Tex Rider to Scott <laughs> over there in Canada and uh, Mrs V and I have worked it out that uh, from here, that's north there, and we reckon that about 37 degrees 15 minutes that way we'll get it to uh, to, to Scott in, in, uh, in Canada, in Ontario. Um, so at the moment the wind's kind of blowing this way so I've got to compensate for that a little bit and got to get it up high so it gets right up into the upper atmosphere to, to get those long, you know, long straight winds getting it. So, okay, let's give it a go. Here we go. You can do it right from there. All right. No, you're going, we're going to step down, so you need to back up. Okay. Back up, darling. Keep going. Here you go. All right, here we go. Okay. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go.